Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night, live at the Zoom Bar DC. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got Bill Sherman, Joseph Stegner, and your host, Marie Louise. And uh, Bill Sherman's going to kick us off, so take it away, Bill. Uh, thank you, Marie Louise. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it off, and I just woke up from a nap, and my voice, uh, <clears throat> my voice seems to have taken a dive, but we're going to give it a shot. So, so don't hold it against me. <laughs> Baby said she's leaving on the one after nine or nine. I said, move on, honey. I'm traveling on that line. I said, move over once, move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. I said we're traveling on the one after 909. I begged her not to leave her. I begged her on my bended knee. But yeah, you're only fooling around. You're only fooling around with me. I said move over once, move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. I said we're traveling on the one after nine or nine. Well, we, well, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I packed up my bags and I, I went to the station. A real man said I got the wrong location, so I picked up my bags and I ran back home then I found I got the number wrong I said move over once move over twice Come on, honey, don't be cold as ice. I said we're traveling on the one after nine or nine. Well, I, I packed up my bags and I, I went to the station. A real man said, I got the wrong location. So I picked up my bags and I, I went back home. Then I found I got the number wrong. Never leaving on the one after nine or nine. I said, move over, honey. I'm traveling on that line. I said, move over once, move over twice. Come on, sugar, don't be cold as ice. I said we're traveling on the one after nine. Yeah, we're traveling on the one after nine. Both traveling on the one after nine or nine. Nine. Yeah. Hey, Bill. So you see what I mean? But come on, you can see what I mean about my voice being shot. <laughs> but you did it. You did yeah, it anyway. I did it. So what I had to do, I, 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 I had to. Come here. Yeah, see, it's that way. Got to, you got to do it that way. So what I had to do is capo, capo this next one up. Well, I'm 
so tired I don't know what to do I'm s sorry I'm gonna start over again I'm so tired mind is on the blink although I'm so tired Ah, <clears throat> excuse me. Start over again. I'm so tired. I haven't slept a wink. I'm so tired. My mind is on the blink. I wonder, should I get up and fix myself a dream? Well, no, no, I'm so tired, I don't know what to do, although I'm so tired, my mind is set on you, I wonder should I call you, but I know what you would do. You're putting me on, but it's no joke It's doing me harm, you know I can't sleep I can't sleep a wink, you know it's three weeks I'm going insane, you know I give you everything I've got For little peace of mind so tired I'm feeling so upset yeah. although I'm so tired I think I'll have another cigarette and curse Sir Walter Raleigh he was such a stupid kid oh no no you'd say you're putting me on but it's no joke it's doing me harm you know i can't sleep i can't sleep a wink you know it's three weeks i'm going insane you know i give you everything i've got for little peace of mind yeah i give you everything i've got for little peace of mind I'll give you everything I've got for little peace of mind. Yay, Bill! Perfect song <clears throat> for when you're out of cold. What'd you say? <laughs> Perfect song for being tired. And yeah, fun. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Totally in character. <laughs> so. I'll, 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 let me take a break and I'll try at least one more. I don't know if I can get the other one in, but I, I that I've got planned. But I know I think I can get one of them in. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thanks. Joseph, are you ready? I am. Okay. I should have four tonight, but three are really short, and uh, one's a little longer. But I'm starting off with "So the Siren Sings," and are you familiar with the mytho mythology? the logical creature, the siren, who sings sailors to their doom. Well, it's kind of how I see war is. Something that sounds beautiful to those who want to do it, but it's a trap. On the waters of uncertainty to sailors lost at sea, searching for excuses to let their worst traits be, a song is heard, hypnotic, which puts the listeners in a trance fantasizing of opportunity to greet the voice with a dance. Oh, how it sounded beautiful to liberate them from dismay. No more fear of drowning nor gripping for life against ocean spray. 
All crew would drop their duties as if the song was caused to pause while the currents and the waves continued physics laws. The siren was seductive, so the ship sailed close to here, unaware it was a trap, and from their doom they wouldn't steer. This next one is called... Hey, that was awesome. Thanks. That was beautiful. Thank you. This one's called The Stupidity of Man, Avarice for Evil, and Ugly Partial Gods. With family on both sides of this conflict, it is time for me to roar. Damned be the blasphemous religions who refuse to listen more. Like any would rage if all who they are is reduced to an instant of what they said. You can be sure the great creator does not fit in what is read. The selfish and egocentric will always have excuse why they are not at fault to put the label in the noose. Pretending to love the most high, they kneel to their idols and make people die. To reprobate, to be humble and accept life's guiding hand on words of the dead and buried, the refuse to listen stand. Hearing the text but missing the meaning, deception weaves its thread to pretend it has the vision by which the masses should be led. Even though earth is spherical, while round and round we go, and none of us can clasp that spark that pumps our heart for blood to flow, the cockiness of our arrogance, our short-sighted and lazy intent, to think we understand without, proper, without attention properly spent, Enough to boast our behavior is above admonishment or approach, like the stubbornness of a rookie who disrespects the coach. Trusting not in our own awareness to hear it from the source, they pick the polluted path that trusts another to set the course. Like a worst form of neuropathy by which extremities become numb, the conscience and connection make sporadic good works done. Religion is like language, different sounds that say the same while the ignorant don't have heart to see beyond a name. The inclined to be more primitive, who would rather take than earn, who want the suite of reward without giving the labor its turn, would rather employ the violence that demands another submit without need for being accurate or seeing the long-term effect of it. Ugly partial gods. And let's see, I got uh, two little short ones. Uh, I, I like these shorter pieces that you've got this evening so far. And are any of you familiar with Francisco Goya, the artist? No, hey, my sorry, favorite man. work that he has done was called The Disasters of War, where he depicts in etchings what war is all about civilians killing soldiers, uh, grandmothers defending their daughters from being raped by soldiers. It's one of those things that it is exactly what it's titled, the disasters of war. And in his own home, before he died, he painted Zeus eating his son. It's a horrific painting, but yet very telling of humanity and how people will talk about, oh, I love God. God is awesome. God loves all children. But kill that one and kill that one. And I don't like that one. And that one did something evil. So kill that one. Zeus eating his son. Francisco Goya on the walls of his home inside gave image to all. What kind of God would eat its young? Yet it's done through wars one and all. The languages of man with different sounds for things the same. Confuse the hasty listener with empathy when empathy is lame. Like eruption of sores on a body tells of ailment or disease, so the human organism on Earth's face on Earth's face falls prey to thieves. In the direction of dissension toward gravity of the self, away from the higher will, the ego becomes the elf, willing to dismantle the future, to deceive, to achieve a selfish end. After its lowest point, we rise to the light again. And then my last one for the night is called These Pages Are Rare. Because what I do is I make these and make a few copies and I give them away. And that's it. Never see them again. There's nothing in here for people to contact me. It's just I just give them away. And who knows? 
like the parable goes of the seeds by the wayside. Some will root, some will grow strong, some will just be cast away or eaten by birds. And I'm banking on the, I guess, the sea turtle method, the sea turtle attempt of you just lay a whole bunch of eggs. So at least some of them get to the ocean. And uh, so that's kind of the, the path I'm taking. And it's all public domain. But I decided I wanted to write something on these things that I, when I, they, people get. So when people have them in their hand, they realize how rare they really are. So this very opening stanza is what I think I might handwrite on all of them from now on. Only a few copies of this art exist. What you are holding is very rare. I hope you find what's written within worth reproduction and care. But then I continue the poem. Public domain by my decree, I flow like a river and fruit like a tree. Yeah, I know, shared root with Muhammad Ali. A tree doesn't go to market trying to sell its fruit. It does what it does because that's what it is. Likewise, the conduits of truth. This is a work of faith, nay, more a work of gratitude. To realize death is always nigh, yet my arm is strong when soul is nude. The tree doesn't use a branch to grab the wrist of who will pick. Likewise, any fee to read would seem quite selfish and sick. If indeed I represent what is in its clearest view, what kind of person would cage what's good and true? These pages are rare. There you go. So that's it from this poet, Johnny Appleseed of Poetry from San Leandro, California. Uh, I really, I really like that one, and Woo! the analogy that the, the analogy of you and your works like a tree with its fruit. I really, yeah. that's that's really good. Halloween is upon us, and if you look behind me, for all the world to see that passes my home, I have a, a random. This looks like a typical page of my poetry that I leave out, and this is one that I think I read last week. And so it was across the land, the poison had been spread to sever the bond of love, dissolved by what was said. Instead of vision for a future that includes the best for all, ego takes the ancient bait to reduce the grand to small. Decay becomes the product of direction of the heart by language that is used to tear our trust apart. As if there is no distinction between ego and the Holy Spirit, that which brings light to illusion, the proud would rather not hear it. Double speak is the deception of inverting what is and what is not, placing erroneous labels to make their believers cold or hot. There is a man of malice well aware how tools are used to make an audience consent to harm of the abused. So anyway, and then there's another page on the other side. But, you know, it's got some good stuff in there. And uh, um, I kind of like it. So vile was the deception. Friends and family would divide, withdrawing the water of love until it's death inside. Those who could see would weep for the fools who carried their banners to the tomb, given to give other than good to who long emerged from the womb. As if some rank amnesia fogs the way they see, they believe the untrue monikers that cloud shared root of one same tree. War becomes the product with mass death as its fruit by those who mock the plowshare to be the sword of whom they salute. There is no such thing as civil war, for savage it is at its core. Woe the fools who fan the flames that will consume their homes and stores. Across the land there is disease that spreads by infected word when motives other than love are the breath of what is heard. Like a tree and like a river publishing or public domain. <laughs> and that's it from Joseph Stegner, San Leandro, California. Yay, Joseph! Woo awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I mean. Kind of hog a little unexpectedly there, a little bit more at the end. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, I was glad to hear it. Thanks. That's great. Thanks. Can I presume uh, that much of your work this evening was motivated by the events in Israel? Yes. 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 Right. Absolutely. I've got my youngest son's girlfriend is Palestinian. And my sister is half Jewish. Or half Hebrew. I don't know. All that. Her father was Jewish, even though she never knew him. But she's a rose off.
much. So yeah, it's a tough thing. And I gave up being a paramedic to prevent war. So uh, yeah, it's keeping me up at night. That's for sure. Yeah. Sanity yeah. and humanity prevail in our time. Yeah. Yeah, it's also heartbreaking. I heard yeah, it is. yesterday that Gaza is a total of five miles by 25 miles. Yeah. It's, it's very small and it has two million it's, people in it. Yeah, How much bigger than San Francisco? Yeah. One of the most dense, like the dense, most densely on the planet. And it's like an open air prison. And they can't go anywhere. They've been under a blockade since 2006. <clears throat> so, and half the a million of the two million are like you know kids or what well, oh, kids yes yeah. that four people who are blockaded like that that, that any but a, a few of them would have anything to do with uh what it takes to acquire such munitions and so a whole lot of innocent people are going to suffer for the yeah and 60 percent of the people are unemployed yeah. Adults are unemployed. Yeah. I mean, it's just just so horrible. And so there's like hardly any, yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, but, you know, music always through the times has been uh, powerful. Music has always been powerful through all of time and, and change and just inspiring humanity. <laughs> So, hooray for, for musicians. Yay, music. So, Billy, you want to do one more or two more? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, well, let me try one, and then we'll see about okay. another one after that. Um, perfect. Thank you. The, 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 this one also, the, the um, <clears throat> although the subject matter isn't really apropos to me being sick, the, the uh, title certainly is. Seems I got to have the change of scene Cause every night I have the, the strangest dreams Imprisoned by the way it, it could have been Left here on my own oh, So it seems I got to leave before I start to scream Like someone's locked the door and took the key You're feeling all right I'm not feeling too good myself Yeah, you're feeling all right I'm not feeling too good myself Well, boy, you sure took me for one big ride And even now I sit and I, I wonder why but when I think of you, I start to cry Gotta stop believing in all your lies Cause there's too much to do before I die You're feeling alright I'm not feeling too good myself Too good, too good No, I'm not feeling too good You're feeling alright I'm not feeling too good myself Well, don't get too lost and all I say, yeah Cause at the time, you know, I really, really, really felt that way 
But that was then, and now you know it's today. I just can't stop myself, so I guess I'm here to stay. Till someone comes along and takes my place with a different name, baby, and a, and a different face. You're feeling all right. I'm not feeling too good myself. Yeah, feeling all right. I'm not feeling too good myself. Yeah, you're feeling all right, 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 yeah. I'm not feeling that good myself. Let's see here. Excellent choice, also. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> that was great. Hey, your voice doesn't sound so bad when you've got it a little more subdued like that. So. Well, you see, yeah, that's what I have to do. Is I have to like, um, you know, I have to manipulate how, how I'm doing the piece to make it work. And that worked. Whatever it sounds, mm -hmm. that totally worked. Yeah. Every day. Every day I've got the blues, yeah. Every day. Every day I've got the blues. When you see me worry, baby. Well, it's you I'd hate to lose. Nobody loves me. Nobody seems to care Nobody loves me Nobody seems to care I'm Talking about worried and bad luck, mama Well, you know I've had my share Every day Every day I've got the blues, yeah Every day Every day I got the blues When you see me worried, baby Well, it's you I'd hate to lose I'm gonna pack up my suitcase And I'm gonna move on down that line Yeah, I'm gonna pack up my suitcase I'm gonna move it on down the line Where the shore ain't nobody worrying and the show ain't nobody crying Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, baby Every day I've got the blues When you see me worried, honey Yeah, well, it's you I'd hate to lose When you see me worried, baby well, it's you I'd hate to lose When you see me worried, baby Well, it's you I'd hate to lose I, I gave it my best shot, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Bill. That was okay. fabulous. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, that's our show, folks. Thanks, everybody, for another great open mic night live at the Super DC, and see you next week. Uh, see you next you. weekend, have fun teaching. Yeah. Oh, oh my and, God! Hey, teachers! Yay! <laughs> and Scott oh. Kaplowitz should be joining us next week. Oh, great! Super cool. Oh, window. Scott Kaplowitz, piano player. He just moved with his oh, um into got a place with his girlfriend. That's so exciting. Well, good for him. 
Oh, yay. Hey, Scott. Raise the so, love. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Love will find a way. <laughs> well, thanks, so thanks, Joseph. Music. Thanks, Marsha. <laughs> See y'all next you. week. Like Finally, y'all. Yeah. 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 See you next week. Thanks, Take Michael. care. Have a good week, everybody. You too. Get well. <laughs>